Louis, it's wonderful to have you with us again. Again? It's like you're living here. At I'm living here. This is my London <laughs> home. It's okay. a hotel. Oh, very grand. And I've got lots of staff. Have you? And they're very friendly here. That's why I like staying here. That's great to hear, because it is very much our mantra to be London's friendliest five-star hotel. So it is. So are you picking that up? Totally. When I come in, I know everybody, and they're never intrusive. They just say, hello, how you doing? And it's just, they're very nice. I think so. Well, we employ people. <laughs> well, you employ them, we so you have to. We employ people for their yeah. niceness, first yeah. and foremost. And if they have the right level of interaction skill and confidence. But we want people with personality. We want to have our guests spoken to by like-minded people and, you know, sincere people, not... It's great because it's like a home from home. Yeah. And it's in the centre of London. There's no noise. Everything you want is outside. If you want food in the hotel, it's fantastic. Great. I love staying here. I might move here totally. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I love it. I love the rooms. And I just, it's not like staying in a hotel. Because yeah. I, I don't like a lot of hotels in London. I've stayed in an awful lot of other hotels, as you probably know. But I just love here. And I know where I'm coming, you know. I like the location. I mean, the location is just the best. You're, you're in the very centre of London and you don't feel like you're because there's no noise. Mm. I love the rooms. I love the big televisions. <laughs> I like the staff. <laughs> You've had quite a lot of our rooms, haven't you? I have. Have you, have you got a favourite yet? I have about three favourites that I like. Can you remember their names? I forget the names. But, but the I colors? remember the decor. I remember the, oh, the, the decor's always different and they've all got great television and some of them have their own kitchens. Yes. Even though I never ever use the kitchen. <laughs> I just go in and look and think, this is lovely. But it's, it's great to think it's there. I think you've stayed in the, just about all of our suites so far. I have. I think I have, yeah. And I like even the small ones. The small yeah. ones are good too. The big ones are great, you know. But I just feel, I feel at home here. And I can, I can actually work here as well. Wonderful. I didn't realise the hotel was so nice. And then, of course, I stayed here and I loved it. Great. And then we had the launch of X Factor here. And I just like, I, mm. every day is different here. Now, you mentioned X Factor, I didn't. Yeah, I did. So, have you got a favourite? I really like one act I have. I know I've had three. I like JLS. I think they can win the show. But I've got a lot of competition from Cheryl. Of course. I think it'll be Cheryl in the final with two acts. And I could have won. I don't know which two of her girls will make it. But she's got some fantastic girls. Mm. I would hate her to win. No, I really would. It's her first year in. Well, wouldn't Danny won last year. She won. First <laughs> no. year in. No, it wouldn't. That's not very generous. No, it w listen, that's what we're like on the show. We all want to win. <laughs> No, I want to win this year. I've, only, I've, I've won once with Shane Ward. And um, that's been fantastic. Yes. And I believe in him. He's just back from Asia. I think 09 is his big year. He's making his third album. Oh, good. So we'll see a lot more of oh, him. Oh, I totally believe in him. Honestly, honestly. It's like he's, he's, he's not hot at the moment, but he's working somewhere around the world. Now, you've mentioned the new um, nation's favourite. I have to ask you about her. Ask me. Cheryl. Cheryl, Cheryl Cole, Cheryl Tweedy. You know, everybody loves her. I she, love her. Re everybody loves All her. All my friends love her. All the staff in the hotel love her. Why is it, do you think, she's just caught the imagination of the nation? A few, a few. She's very warm. She's very, she's very nice. She's beautiful looking. She's young. She's skinny. She's married to a footballer. She's a pop star. She's got a great wardrobe. She wears really high heels. High, even higher heels than Simon. Wow. Mm. Really? Simon loves her too. Wow. Danny and her are getting on okay. Not great, but mm. okay. It's time, isn't it? It's time. For, for two good-looking girls on the show, yeah. it's OK. I think also it's her warmth and her sort of connection with people. I mean, when I'm here, she always hugs me, and it's like, it's like she means it. It's not like she's doing it for the cameras. Mm. It's like she actually means it. Mm. She's very sharp as well with people. And the one thing that I didn't realise about her, she loves music. She absolutely loves music, and she's very opinionated about everybody. A bit like me, but I mean, she's very opinionated about music, yeah. And well, that's great. I think she's probably the best judge we've had on the show. You know I love Sharon. And Sharon, you know I don't mean it, you know, but you're a bit older. But uh, <laughs> I do love Cheryl. The one thing I'm going to say about Simon is I've never seen him be rude to anybody. Anybody, doormen, people driving yeah. cars, yeah. people. He's never, ever rude to them. He was here for the, as you know, for the launch. For the launch, yeah. Here with him. yeah. He's just charming to everybody. He's very, very nice. Odd clothes, strange Cuban heels, jeans he are too baggy. Heels. He does. He does with a little high heel on them. He does. I've mentioned it a few times. Those new teeth, no. they kind of suit him. 
um, the hairdo. I mean, he he'll see he blow dries his hair before he goes on for like twenty minutes. Well, he's a man who takes pride in his appearance. Yeah, but look what happens at the end. It's not a it's not a great end product, and he loves mirrors. Mirrors everywhere in the dressing room. Hmm. Lots of spray tan. Everything. Anyway, enough about Mr. Cole. You can take that out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> now you're in my personal favourite suite, the Amarillo. Love it for the colours. Is it's there a particular feature about this room that you that you really like? The lighting's lovely at night time mm -hmm. because you have three different kinds of lights. Yeah. I love the big TVs. Love the big TVs. Um, I like the space. I like the colour. I love the bathroom. Do you I like the whole you place. Put the fire on? No, I've never put the fire on. It's a very romantic suite. Is it? You know, but I'm, all, I'm usually on my own. For someone very special. <laughs> I'm usually on my own. That's very sad. No, it's not. It's fine because I'm here to work. I'm here to work. I can't be distracted, especially on that Friday and Saturday night. When Saturday night is over, I can do what I want. So maybe I might put it on this Saturday. Good. Okay. Well, thank you so much for giving us your thank time. Thank you. I love the to place. Talk to, our, to us and our channel. Listen, it's, it's a great hotel. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. much. Thank you very much. Thank you.